Okay, welcome to another short episode of Crime Pays of Botany Doesn't Work here at the uh, Pizzo Native Plant Nursery with Jack Pizzo and uh, fellow Italian. And we're out here uh, looking at uh, this prairie restoration. This was all, tell me about what this was. This was all Euro invasive European grass before, right? Yeah, this was a remnant prairie taken over by uh, uh, European brome. And we just started managing to get rid of the invasive species and fire. And this is all just popped up. And this is sitting on deep, deep black Illinois soil. This stuff right here. So it feels like a, it feels like kind of clay, but there's sandy loam in there too. And it's I just can't get over how black and rich it is. I mean, that's all that nutrients, huh? And it's all it's all that carbon, and it's all filled with fungi and bacteria. So even if even if you tried to compress it, you can't compress it because it's so well structured. Tell us about the crayfish real quick. You got so prairie crayfish. Here, so this right here, in there, there's prairie crayfish in these little holes, and they come up at night and feed on the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> so their water table's pretty close, yeah, I take it, yeah, huh? Yeah, exactly. So, and there's thousands of them here. Um, and you can really see the, the thing that you see, the prime mover of the soil out here are the ants. Because when we burn this, you can see thousands of ant mounds out here. How often you guys burn this? Um, we burn this uh, some part of the property every year. What about say a homeowner's got a prairie garden but they can't burn, they got stiffs as Just neighbors? Just do, a, do a, a cleanup. Cut it down, rake it off mm -hmm. and expose that soil. Just be that disturbance that enables the diversity. It's, it, it's more getting the sunlight to the ground so that the ground can warm up and that's what helps the native plants. You know, you, I know in a lot of small places you can't burn so just rake it away and uh, put it in your compost pile and shake the seeds in the back into the, the planting. But you want to keep some of the, I mean, obviously the benefit here is these things, at least in the fall season, these are native, they're, they're native growing bird feeders pretty much, right? Yeah, oh yeah. So all the uh, seeds on the sunflowers and uh, the finches on the, the uh, prairie dock, they'll feed them all winter long. Yeah, look at all the agalinus. How many Illinois prairies do you see with the agalinus in it? Not very many. Get your oligo neurons, your silphium, echinaceas, radabetas. Oh, look at that. Look at that lobelia. Ah! Oh, God, the color on that. And the fucking sound, too. It sounds so nice to be out here. New England Aster, Cynthia Trichum Noviangli, and this solid doggo is Altissimum, you said? Yeah, this is, there's Altissimum and Canadensis. Joe Pizzo from Pizzo Native Plant Wholesale Nursery, everybody, there you go. Hey, Jack. Jack, uh, Jack, <laughs> Joe, you know what I mean. Pizzo's, what, the last name's what counts anyway, it's Italian. Right. Look at that, knotweed, our native knotweed, Polygonaceae buckwheat family, Polygonum, uh, what was it again? Coccinium. Coccinium, yeah, there you go, because it's, because it's red. Right, but most of what you see, most of the most of the ones you're gonna see are gonna be invasive ones. The Japanese now. We we got our native. Look at that! Look at that dogbane beetles. It's a native. Look at it. It's like a native. Looks like a damn scarab. Looks, looks like, like Peter Max. Look at that. The artist from the 70s. <laughs> painted, right? On the opossum, the native dogbean. Those opposite leaves. That's wild. I'm so I'm so used to seeing you know invasive insects. In Illinois, it's so nice to see it, a native. So if you look at the way the land lays and it starts going down here into the wetland, the start up here with the uh, yellow flowering, uh, the big two sunflower, then you get into the knotweed and it's kind of flat, then it gets lower and it goes out into the burr reed and where it's deepest you see the bulrushes. So you can tell how wet an area is just by looking at the vegetation. Prairie hydrology. Yep. Okay, so it's important to keep in mind 15,000 years ago, we'd be under, you know, a mile or more of ice right there, that little mound, which is, you know, that's some that's some high topography. What county are we in? DuPage? DeKalb. DeKalb, yeah, right. There you go. Boy, I really fucking up there. DeKalb County. For DeKalb County, that's a mountain. And so what we're looking at is all the material that fell through a hole in the glacier as it was slowly melting. It's called the Came. So all the, all, the, all the detritus and stuff that the glacier had, had brought with it was slowly uh, being washed away with the meltwater through a little hole and ended up. On top, on top of the came, it is really dry and the vegetation's very short. But up there are uh, badger uh, uh, burrows. So the badger come through here looking for things like the ground squirrels and, and mice and they dig it up and they create a disturbance. And then that other plants take over where they disturbed. 
So they're lurking up there. You got badgers lurking up there. Probably kind of a different plant community too, oh, huh? completely, completely. Yeah, there's Antonaria neglecta, the pussy toes, the really short one. You, you'll see it. It'll if it gets established really well, it outcompetes everything else. So in a tall area, you'll see the vegetation's only that tall, and it's almost all the pussy toes. And it's got those fuzzy leaves too. Fuzzy That's how leaves. it can cope with the drier site. Yep. And there's. Uh, white flowering blue-eyed grass, Cisrinchium albidum up there. Look at this. This is what he this is what he planted. Hastiola suaviolens. Jack sowed all the cedars. It's a senecioid. Cedars colliculi at the the base of that involucre. You know, I'd say it was a senecio if I saw it. Stop swearing. I never see. I never seen that. Uh, I never seen that uh, genus before. Though. Hey, I can't. Hey, you you let out a couple cuss words too, pal. All right, I heard it back there. <laughs> Look at that Cynthia trichum noviangli. Look at that. The New England Aster. It's not it's in Symphio Trichum, but that, that thing's just a fucking banger. Look at that. And I've seen them, you know, five, six feet tall before. Just look at all those pink flowers. Another late, a late fall, a late summer blooming uh, fall composite. Look at all that corn. I was always trying to figure out as a kid, why do they grow so much corn? Who the fuck is eating all this corn? Then I realized it's not for people. It's for, it's for fucking cows. Look at that. There you go. The yeah, I opened it. The death cult of corn. There you go. See that? Just we're just in an ocean of corn. All the feed pigs and cows. 